Hello everyone. We will continue the topic how to send a Adobe form or PDF form as an email attachment. And in the previous video, we covered that we will make use of the four classes related to business communication services to send a Adobe form or PDF form as an email attachment. Now we will continue from here and parallelly I will compare it to smart form also so that we can understand fully that what are the various differences when we send smart form as an email attachment, smart form PDF as an email attachment or when we send Adobe form or PDF form as an email attachment. So what I will do, I will go for the program, driver program in which we are calling the Adobe form or PDF form from the program. This is our driver program. Before I will start with this, I will just go for, I'll just, uh, I just did one change into this particular program previously the output device was coming automatically. Previously, I worked in a server. Suppose if I will comment this particular part so that it should not be any confusion. Previously, when I worked into a server, at that time, output device LP01 was automatically coming. So I put the logic for print preview is equal to true and no dialog is equal to true. At that time, I have not passed device is equal to LP01 because it was coming automatically. But now in my current server, device is not coming automatically. So I added one extra logic. I just added the logic to pass the device also. I pass the device LP01. So do not confuse why there is an extra line in the program. So I just put DEST. I just use DEST column. If I will go to DEST, if I will find DEST, you can see DEST is spool output device. If you see in smart form also, we did same to same thing. In the smart form, we have TD DEST. In case of Adobe form or PDF form, we have DEST. So I passed DEST is equal to LB05. Now, what I will do, I will not touch the existing program I will make a copy of this program and in that program, I will add the logic to send the Adobe form or PDF form as an email. So I'll just make a copy. I will click on to copy button. And now I will give some name. Suppose I will add the word email. I will go for copy. Okay, it is already written program. I'll just change something. I will just add. Okay. I'll change. I'll just put it seven. Previous was already existing. So I'm just changing. I will select everything. I will make a copy. I will save it as a local object. I will activate the program. Now I will go for the steps and we will follow all these steps one by one. What is the first step? Get the PDF content of the Adobe form or PDF form. You need to firstly get the PDF content of the Adobe form or PDF form. If you remember 
in case of smart form in case of smart form we are firstly setting get otf to true we are firstly getting the otf then we are converting that otf to pdf but in case of adobe form or pdf form there is no concept of otf at all because it is a pdf form or adobe form so we will directly directly get a pdf itself so how we will get the pdf i if i will go for this lwa parameters lwa parameters is of this type previously you used no dialog you used preview we used dest now if i want pdf but the particular column i will use get pdf and description is itself saying request pdf return yes we want pdf if you see in case of smart form we put firstly get otf to capital x but in case of adobe form or pdf form there is no concept of otf so we will directly directly put get pdf to capital x so i'll just go to the program and i will write get pdf is equal to capital x so this is the first difference whenever we are going for adobe form or whenever we will go for smart form i will put in capital so i put get pdf to x capital x capital x means true and this value we are passing to this fp job open so system will understand that you want a pdf now system understood that we want a pdf so in which particular parameter it will return the pdf so it will return the pdf into this importing parameter into this importing parameter you all know this is the function module of pdf form or adobe form suppose if i will uncomment this importing i will uncomment this importing i will go to the function module of the adobe form or pdf form sorry i will go to the function module of adobe form or pdf form i will go to sfp transaction i will put the name of adobe form or pdf form this is the function module of adobe form or pdf form i will copy and i will go to sc37 transaction code you all know you can see the function module through sc37 now you can see here it is coming as here it is coming as importing it means in the function module it will be the part of exporting just see same to same thing if i will double click on to the type so have you seen we have a column pdf so in this particular column pdf we will get the pdf of our adobe form or Ad adobe form or pdf form so what i will do i will simply simply uncomment this in front of this i will declare one work area suppose i am saying lwa underscore form out now the type of lwa underscore form output will be same as that of this so i will simply simply copy this type and i will declare in my program so i will write lwa underscore form output type structure 
have you seen i declared in the form of work area because it is a structure type structure has these many columns and in this particular column i will get the pdf i will check the syntax and i will activate now just compare it to smart form also in smart form we did the same to same thing if i will convert it if i will pop out the smart form we got the otf we got the otf when we put get otf to capital x when we got the otf we converted it to pdf pdf and if you remember in this particular parameter in this particular variable we got the pdf and this is of which format it was in which format but was the data type x string x string now just see we have same to same thing is there we have same to same thing if i will come to our program here also we are getting the pdf we are getting the pdf but we are getting the pdf in which particular format raw string in case of smart form we got the file we got the pdf file in x string data type here we are getting the pdf in raw string data type there is no difference between x string and raw string data type there is no difference at all both can contain data both can store data of any length they are variable length data type so do not confuse what is raw string or what is x string both are same to same data type at all in case of smart form you got the pdf file in x string data type here you got the pdf file in raw string data type there is no difference at all now in this particular component in this particular component lwa form output hyphen pdf we will get the pdf content now what is the next step we need to convert the pdf content from raw string format to binary format if you remember in case of smart form also we did the same to same thing when we got the pdf content in the x string format we simply simply convert it to the binary format same thing we need to do here also because x string raw string there is no difference at all so we will simply simply use this function module to convert yes to convert the to convert the pdf content from raw string to the binary format so i will go for pattern button i will just put enter here i will go to pattern button and i will go for this function module scs scms x string to binary now your file your pdf content is where it is into this particular structure and which component pdf because it is returning as the content in which format a raw, raw string it is simply simply returning as the pdf in raw string format and we will convert it to binary format so i will simply declare one internal table suppose i am saying lt underscore binary table now we all know the type of lt underscore binary underscore table will be same as that of binary underscore tab so i will simply declare this internal table it is a part of tables so i will double click you can see if i will go to tables binary underscore tab sap has not given any type during smart form also during sending smart form pdf as an email attachment i covered at that point also 
at this point of time, I will write some type of LT binary table. And once the topic will proceed, I will let you know how I come to know the type of LT underscore binary underscore table. So I will simply declare a internal table. So I will write data LT underscore binary underscore table type. I will write solix underscore tab. And once the topic will proceed, I will let you know how I come to know about this table type. As of now, I'm declaring it is a table type. It means LT underscore binary underscore table is a internal table. I'll check the syntax and I will activate. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we cover the first two steps. What is first step? Get the PDF content of the Adobe form. In smart form also, you did same to same thing. But in smart form, we have two steps. Firstly, we need to get the OTF. Then we need to convert that OTF into PDF. It is here, it is only one step. I just simply, simply put get PDF to capital X. Whenever we put get PDF to capital X in this particular importing parameter, we have a component PDF in this particular component. We will get the PDF content of our Adobe form or PDF form. But whatever we will get, it will be in raw string format, raw string format. In smart form also, you have same to same thing. At that time, you got in X string format. Here we will get in, here we will get in raw string format. Now, after that, we need to simply, simply convert from raw string to binary. Whenever we want to convert, we have to use this particular function module scms underscore extreme underscore two underscore binary. We put the PDF content in raw string format and it will return the PDF content in binary format. In the next video, we will start with the next steps. And yes, whenever we'll go for next video, you will see same to same thing was covered in case of smart form also. But yes, we know few people or we'll say so many audience will directly focus on Adobe form. So we need to cover this topic as a part of Adobe form also. So that's it in this video. Thank you.